The world-renowned dancer Fei Se is also the leader of the Shadow Guards of Domain 9. Endless Bloom, the beautiful lotus she holds while dancing, may also be used as a lethal weapon to incinerate her enemies. One mustn't let down the beauty of the flower bloom. Fei Se's mechanics primarily focus on off-field effects as the secondary carry of flame teams. Behold her dancing attacks! Fei Se's Ground 6 Phase Attack, Maneuver. Mid-air 6 Phase Attack, Shifting Clouds. Ground Normal Attack Derivative Move A, Golden Autumn. Ground Normal Attack Derivative Move B, Resounding Pendants. Mid-air Normal Attack Derivative Move, Falling Flowers. Lotus Aspera is Fei Se's flying ability. It is a useful movement ability in the complex terrains of Domain 9. Fei Se's dodge attacks, Flutter and Flower Scatter. Fei Se needs to coordinate her dodge attacks with her weapon skills to trigger various mechanisms, as explained in the next segment. Weapon skill, Whirling. Deals damage to nearby targets and creates Mirage Fantasy, a field constantly dealing damage to enemies. As for the mechanism, when a weapon's dodge attack hits a target for the first time in Mirage Fantasy, it triggers Fei Se's Fantasia and Lotus Petal. A damage boost effect. Fei Se's Fantasia converts a certain percentage of the target's max attack to the Wanderer's basic flame attack until the Fantasia disappears. Lotus Petal, on the other hand, is an invisible summon that enhances Mirage Fantasy's damage over time. When Lotus Petal is triggered, the number of petals is equal to the sum of all summons spawned by other weapons. Bear in mind that once a dodge attack hits for the first time and spawns Lotus Petal, the number of petals will remain the same in the current Mirage Fantasy. Let's move on to the damage effect of Mirage Fantasy. While Mirage Fantasy lasts, targets within it are dealt normal attack damage every second, while being applied a 5-second burn once every 5 seconds. The burn damage will be elevated depending on the combined quantity of Fei Se's Fantasias and Lotus Petals. Try to trigger more summons before using the first dodge attack. After 20 seconds have passed since using the weapon skill Whirling, Fei Se may use its derivative skill, Lissum. The skill removes all of Fei Se's Fantasias and Lotus Petals and breaks Mirage Fantasy, dealing high damage to surrounding targets. The damage dealt is affected by the sum of Fei Se's Fantasias and Lotus Petals. Now, let's watch Fei Se's Discharge skill, Unparalleled Jade Pool. Up next are Fei Se's Simulacra Mechanism, Weapons Exclusive Trait, and Key Star Rating Traits. Fei Se's Simulacrum Trait. After using Whirling, Fei Se gains a final damage boost for every flame weapon Wanderer has equipped, lasting 30 seconds. Endless Bloom's Exclusive Trait. Fiery Explosion, Swift Cut. Remember the exclusive trait of Yu Lan's Ice Crush, Swift Cut? Fei Se has brought forth the second damage mechanism of Swift Cut. Fiery Explosion, Swift Cut. While Endless Bloom is equipped, hitting a target with any weapon's discharge skill will deal high damage to the target based on the Wanderer's Flame Attack, Wanderer's Max HP, Crit, and the sum of all the Wanderer's resistance of each type. After entering the combat state, Fei Se will rapidly stack her Swift Cut damage multiplier, stacking up to 30 times. Fei Se's Key Star Rating Traits. Leveling Fei Se up to 1 star increases the burn damage multiplier of Mirage Fantasy. If a target is afflicted with multiple burn effects of different multipliers, the burn damage of Mirage Fantasy will be calculated based on the highest multiplier. Leveling Fei Se up to 3 star increases the maximum amount of Fei Se's Fantasias to 2. At the same time, every time Fei Se's weapon skills hit a target, an extra Fantasia is spawned. 
Please note that Flame Base attack increase effects from multiple faces Fantasias are individually calculated and stackable. Lastly, let's talk about Faisa's weapon combinations and actual combat performance. Since Faisa is best used as an off-field secondary carry, the on-field flame weapon Pine Comet is recommended for her, together with a weapon that can provide buff effect. An excellent flame main carry weapon, Pine Comet also triggers calligraphy characters, a type of summons. Recommended Combination A, Endless Bloom, Pine Comet, and Onyx Tortoise. In this combination, Ming Ding provides a flame damage boost through weapon skills. Stack up a charge before entering combat, so the cycle may start more smoothly. Recommended Combination B, Endless Bloom, Pine Comet, and Lan. In this combination, Lan provides flame damage boost through discharge, as well as shield and summons through weapon skills, making her a great match for Fei Se. Stacking a charge before combat is also recommended. That's all for the showcase of Fei Se and Endless Bloom. Thanks for watching!